Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking cinematic particle effect using Adobe After Effects and Particular. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine, 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Press OK. Once we have that, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a background. So I'm just gonna create a new solid, call it background. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another solid and I'm gonna call that particular. Now, once we have that, we need to search for the effect called particular. Now, just a reminder, particular is a paid plugin from Red Giant. So if you do not have it, please download it first before continuing on with this tutorial. So now once we've got that out of the way, the next thing that we need to do is I'm just gonna move forward in time maybe to around two seconds and I'm just gonna trim the comp to that area there. So I'm just gonna right click and trim just so we can see our particles uh, there just like that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna trim the end. I'm gonna bring it down to about 10 seconds as well just to make it a little bit shorter. So now once we've got that out of the way, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to our emitter settings and we're gonna change the emitter type to box. We're gonna change the particles per second to let's say 20,000, all right? And if that's a little bit slow for your CPU, what you can do is you can drop it down to half or a third, etc. We are also gonna change the emitter size to XYZ individual and we're gonna change the size X to 2000. We're gonna change the size Y to zero. We are going to change the size Z to 2000 as well. And then also while I'm here, we're gonna change the velocity and bring that down to zero as well. So now we have this thin bar on our composition. So now what we need to do is we need to add a camera. So I'm just gonna add a 35 mil camera. And if you press C or you get to the orbit around, you can actually see uh, all the particles in there just like that. So we're gonna go back to uh, particular and we're gonna change a few settings as well. The first one, we're gonna open up our particle settings. We're gonna change the life to let's say four. We're gonna change the sphere feather to 100. We are going to change the size to about like to say 1.5. Uh, we're gonna change the opacity to 60. We're gonna change the opacity random to 50%. We're gonna set a preset for the opacity over live. So we want this one with a peak in the middle-ish, I guess. And then once we've done that, now, doesn't move so we need to make it move so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to the displace we're gonna come down to drift and we're gonna set it to negative uh, 105 on that drift Z and if you want it to go faster slower you can just change it here as well so maybe if we bring it down to um, 80 now it goes a little bit slower so totally up to you so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the camera. I'm just gonna press P for position and I'm just gonna import these values. So 960, 520 and negative 1333. And that will bring us back to the horizon point just like this. Now what we need to do is we need to make the wave. So what we are going to do is we are going to go back to our particular settings. We are going to go down to the turbulence field. And we're gonna change a few of these settings in here. So the first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the displace to let's say something about 300. Maybe that's a bit too much. Maybe we can bring it down to 280. We can play around with these settings. We can change them up a bit later. We're gonna change the fade in time to zero. We are also gonna change the turbulence field controls. So we're gonna change the scale to four. We're gonna change the evolution speed to let's say 20. And now if you preview that, now you will see you've got this really nice cinematic particle effect already kind of happening there. And that's looking pretty cool. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go and change our colors. So I'm just using color hunt here and I'm using the lightest color in here. I'm just gonna set that value to that color. I'm gonna change the blend mode to add. Once I've got that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to work on our background. So I'm just gonna click on that BG. I'm gonna write gradient ramp. And again, 
I'm gonna go to color hunt over here, but I'm gonna choose the darkest color and I'm gonna swap it with that white color over there. I'm gonna change it to a radial ramp. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom out a bit and I'm just gonna put that value uh, in the middle or actually I'm just gonna swap colors firstly. So I'm gonna put that value down here and then I'm gonna put that top value in the middle somewhere like that. And you can play around with how much uh, blue you want in your composition. So the lower you go, the less vignette that you have. So I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe I'll just make it a little bit less. So now once we've got that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to change some of the depth of field settings in our camera options. So I'm gonna go down to the camera options. I'm gonna turn the depth of field on. I'm gonna change the focus distance to about 860. I'm gonna change the aperture to 40 and I'm gonna change that blur to maybe let's say 110, something like that. And you, know, you can play around with some of the settings here if you like. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm also going to go into my camera settings and I'm just going to change the view so that I have two views over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a or I'm going to move the camera to where I want it to be. So I probably want it to be in the middle of things just like that. And so you have the you know particles kind of spewing out. And I think that's looking pretty cool. So the only thing I'm gonna add in here is a small Z rotation animation. So I'm gonna start it at, let's say negative three. And then I'm gonna move to the end of that composition and put it to, let's say positive three. All right, and now you will have small, you know, kind of rotation of those particles. And I think that's looking pretty cool as well. So by all means, you can move around where you want the camera to be. Um, so totally up to you. You can, uh, yeah, zoom it in if you want, or you can, you know, if you want to start it, maybe somewhere in there, you know, that's looking pretty cool, but I'll just leave it at that. So the final things that we can do over here is now we just need to dress it up. So the first thing that we can do here is on the background layer, we can add some curves and we can just kind of darken it a little bit. So we're creating a real slight S bend, just like that, but we're more worried about that dark area over here. Cool, so now what we need to do is once we've added our background layer and we've got our curves on there, I've just dropped the size um, back down to one. So you can play around with some of these settings over here. So we had at 1.5, but I think one looks a little bit better. So the final thing that we can do here is we can add our adjustment layers. And inside of here, what we can do is the first one that we can add is some glow. And so we can play around with some of these settings um, over here. So if you want, we can just bring that up. And if you want to increase the intensity for how much glow you want, maybe something like that. That looks pretty cool. And to tie it all in together, we can add some noise as well. So we, we can bump up the noise to, let's say something like 10%. And I think that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. So anyways, guys, um, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.